guys, it's Wednesday and the shenanigans continue. Uh, I want to show you the Hindelider family history. Okay, right here we have a machine that was built by Roscoe Pressure Washers was Robert Hindelider back in 1991. This is Michael Hindelider, one of his first machines. Take a look at that sticker. Oh no, wait, is this the Michael Hindelider Signature Series? Josh Minx, did you put that sticker on there? Oh man. So we're gonna, we're gonna demonstrate his machine, so it's still working since 91, but we wanna give a little uh, lesson here today on pressures, okay? We change pressures by changing the nozzles, the tips. We don't change pressures by if we come on down here, the unloader, and everybody always wants to touch this big black knob here. This is not how you set the pressure in the machine. That's an unloader, it's set it and forget it. Okay, you wanna change pressures? How we do that is we change the nozzle size. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna fire this up, and we're gonna show you, we're gonna turn three different nozzles of the machine and give you three different pressures. We're gonna show you the right one, and we'll show you the wrong one. We'll show you what happens with the pressures, okay? All right, guys, right now, that's a 1,500 PSI, four gallon minute machine. I got the proper nozzle in there. And you can see it's running a little bit more than 1,500 PSI. I'm gonna let it go, it's gonna spike up to 2,000. That's the unloader working, okay? You see that? Now, that's a five nozzle. I'm gonna put a seven five nozzle in here. And I'm gonna show you the pressure drop. Again, not touching anything but the nozzle, okay? Now let's see what we got. Look at that, we're down to a thousand PSI now. All right, we still got the, the spike up to 2,000, we're gonna load a setting, but that's a thousand PSI because we opened up the nozzle. Now, I'm gonna put another nozzle in. That's even bigger, which is a, a 1-0. And we're gonna see how low we get this thing. There we go. All right, guys, let's pull the trigger on this. Again, no changes. Look at that, we're down to 750 PSI. Okay, unloader spiking. Okay, it's, if your nozzle's wearing out, your pressure's gonna be dropping down. And you can see you still have that pressure up there. Your unloader's set, okay? But the wrong nozzle will give you low pressure. So sometimes people call us up telling me the machine's not working right, and they look in their box and they grab any nozzle, they got the employees to put the wrong nozzle. So always check your nozzle size first before you, before you think there's something wrong with the machine, okay? And that's what we got. So what we're gonna do today is we got a little bit more shenanigans going on. And uh, I've done turkeys, I've done plastic bottles, <laughs> we've done pumpkins, so today, for the Christmas, we decided we're gonna unwrap a Christmas present. So I got my guy, Elliot, who loves playing in the water. So Elliot, I'm gonna let you cut this present open. All right, guys, so I put the proper nozzle back in here. This thing's running at 1500 PSI with a zero nozzle. Again, we said zero nozzles aren't good for much, but we're gonna try to unwrap this present. So Elliot, here you go, Elliot guy. Let's see what we got. All right, guys, again, power washers can't hurt you. You know, we do this, we use all our PPE. He's got gloves on, he's got a mask on. We have good fun, but we do it in safe. All right, we're always safe. You guys, everybody be safe. The holidays are here. Thank you from powerwash.com.